Okay, I'm here with Michael Acton Smith. You're the CEO and founder of Mind Candy, and uh, your big product is Moshi Monsters, right? Yes, yes. So Moshi Monsters is a uh, a virtual world for for kids, um, but it's much much more than that. It's sort of a cross between Tamagotchi and Facebook for kids. So we've grown very very rapidly. Um, we're about 35 million registered users. We get one new sign up every second. And basically, it's sort of a, a, an online playground for kids. So not only can they um, play mini games and uh, wander around and do all the usual stuff in uh, kids' virtual worlds, but there's a crucial social layer, a community, where they can send each other safe messages. Uh, they can send virtual gifts. They can rate each other's rooms. There's a news feed. Um, and basically, what we've tried to do is reimagine Facebook for an under 13-year-old uh, mindset and create all the fun stuff that kids love doing. They upload their artwork, they send in stories. So why don't you show me a little bit about what this, Alrighty, this so looks like. So you're, you're not trying to be a club penguin, you're trying to be sort of a safe Facebook for kids 5 to 12? 5 to, to 11, mm -hmm. exactly. So And nothing like that has existed yet. We want this to be the first social network that, that kids play on and that parents feel comfortable their kids playing on before they're ready to, to step up to Facebook. So this is my room. Uh, you can see my monster. I can tickle him, and he likes that. I can get him to walk around. Uh, I can give him some food if he's hungry, if I have any food, uh, which I probably don't. Um, but I've got these items that I can um, uh, you know, put in the room and customize it exactly as I wish. Uh, I've got a music player. Um, I've got video games that my friends can drop by and play. So again, and there's a lot of other... Can you show me the up. wall and the feed? So yeah, let's, let's have a look at the, the feed. Uh, this is my news feed, so very similar to Facebook. So um, today, for instance, we launched a physical magazine, a little bit Which bizarre. Which is this right here, right? <laughs> yeah, a bit bizarre for a, a digital property, but we don't think print is dead just yet. Kids love magazines. So we've got um, art, what they've sent in. We've got puzzles and stories and all sorts of other... Fun stuff. So, um, and you have all these toys as well, toys and merchandising, and you started selling that this uh, Christmas? Exactly. So yeah, we want to create something much, much more than just a, a website. We want to create the largest kids' entertainment property of the digital age. So we have everything from fun plush toys, uh, we have these little moshling characters, we have trading cards, uh, we have books with Penguin and Scholastic, uh, and we're working on a whole host of other stuff as well that connect back to the virtual world. So um, there are unique codes on some of these items. And basically, it just allows kids to have a different window into this world that they love and learn about new characters. And you expect you'll do $100 million in gross revenue this year? In total, Moshi Monsters merchandise sales this year, uh, we're forecasting $100 million. So that's partially uh, the digital revenue that we get from subscription, but also um, the gross retail price of the you know, dozens and dozens of products that uh, are out in the market. And can you show me some of the other other features, the games and the you educational bet. part? Yeah, so one of the things we're really proud about with Moshi is the puzzles. So we call this stealth education. And, uh, oh, I've already done that today. But we've got 35 different puzzle games that um, kids can play. And uh, they play them with their monster. So if they get questions right, their monster is happy, or he cries if... if uh, they get it wrong, and they have 60 seconds to answer as many as they can. So I'm going to try and not look too stupid here. Um, so they have multiple choice, so they don't have to type anything into the computer. And uh, it records their top score, they can see their average score. And um, uh, I don't want to ruin my, uh, <laughs> my average score here, so I've got to, got to concentrate. But parents love this, and so parents are very happy to pay. Whoops, that's not France. Parents are very happy to pay the $6 a month subscription fee. Kids compete to try and get the best score. Um, so we're basically made in, making something educational, um, um, you know, from something that the kids think Okay, can you fun. quit out of that and just show me the, uh, the map? So there's a, it's like a Candyland type of... Uh... So this is the, the world that they can explore. So we've got a volcano, uh, which is the secret headquarters of the Super Moshis, where they go on various missions. Uh, we've got a haunted house down here. Uh, we've got a garden where you can plant seeds, um, a little bit like a kid's version of Farmville. Uh, this is Ula Lane. Uh, there's a gift island. There's a port. Um, Sludge Street. Let's just go and have a look at one of these. And so you can see other monsters wandering around. Uh, so here I am, wandering on the street. I can go to Yakia to buy furniture. I can go to the grocery store to buy some food. Um, Yakia, did you come up with that? Uh, 
I'm ashamed to say I did. Yeah, we love puns in, in Moshi. Um, we've got horrids if you've got a lot of rocks and you want to buy something classy. So um, this is, I can see other monsters. So this is a, a, a monster. This is their mood. Uh, they're hungry. Uh, the gold means they're a Moshi member. Um, and uh, that's the country they're from, level 10. Those are other players, actually. These are other players in the world. So I can't actually chat to them on the street. I can just uh, see a little bit of information around them. So as I say, you know, the key thing to take away from this is that we've tried to create um, a site that is as popular for kids as Facebook is for grown-ups. Kids love uh, communicating and showing off and sharing online just as much as grown-ups do. And if we felt we could build, we felt we could build something safe for them, and um, if we can, you know, this is going to be as big for kids as Facebook is for grown-ups.